Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Snapseed. Now Snapseed is my personal favorite photo editing application. Just how simple it is, yet you can get lots of detail if you just work at it a little bit. So if we launch right into the app here, you can see right from the main screen you get a nice big preview of the image you're currently editing. You can also get right up here to undo, redo, revert, share, open in, all that kind of stuff. Here you can get to your layers. Once you start editing, you get multiple layers in an order there where you can delete particular layers. Here you can get to save where you can save over the current image, you can save a copy of the image, or you can export the image. Here you can open, you can open any image from your camera roll, you can take a picture, you can open the latest image, all that. As you can see here, you do have horizontal and vertical editing, which is really convenient here. Open right into the tool section here to get to image tune, which is the most useful one in my opinion. You can get to things like brightness, contrast, saturation, all you do is scroll up and down to pick, and then you slide left to right to adjust the particular setting. Here you can get to where you can see the original image. Here you can get automatic, so it'll automatically adjust it to best suit what it feels is the best settings for it. Tap right down here again, you can get to details for things like sharpening. You can get to crop, which is pretty basic. You can select your aspect ratios right there. You can rotate. Transform is pretty useful. You can change the vertical and horizontal perspective. It'll adjust it just slightly and fill in the corners so you won't even notice it did it. Then right here you can get to brush, where you can brush over particular parts to change the exposure, the contrast, things like that. Here you can get to selective, where you can select particular parts of the image by pin pinching and zooming to select the size, and then changing particular things like contrast, brightness, and saturation. Here you can get to healing, which is a very useful feature that you don't see in a lot of applications, where you can heal particular parts just like a Photoshop. Like that you can remove particular parts of the image if there are things you do not want to see. Here we can get to vignette, which is very useful. You can change the strength right there, and you can also see the inner brightness right there. See right down at the bottom here, you can jump right back into tools where you can get to all of your filters, like glamour glow, total contrast, and even frames down here at the bottom where there's a pretty wide selection of different frames you can pick for your photos. Overall, as I mentioned, Snapseed is my favorite photo editing application. It's just very useful, yet it gives you very easy to use interface, all sorts of deep in-depth tools that you can use, really useful, looks very nice. Definitely give it a 5 star out of 5 reviews, definitely recommend you check it out if you're looking for a way to edit photos on the go. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and subscribing, I post new videos every single Sunday. If you enjoyed, please stay tuned for the next episode.